Imagine if you're just a regular motherfucker <laughs> driving home, not a wrestling fan, and an obese clown <laughs> is fighting a Nazi <laughs> in the road on your way home. And, no, and there's no police. Everybody's cool. Oh, they're going to CVS. They must be going to get some somas. <laughs> I heard the guy in the. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, I, I, you know what? Here's the deal. It, this, I won't be able to, this is like, I won't be able to unsee this the rest of my life. You know? Look at that steak and shake parking. Look at look across. Everybody's watching. I can't believe it. It's a sellout. It is. Oh God! Let this be a lesson to you. If you're in a death match, mm -hmm. throw your opponent into shrubbery. That's right. Not like anything dangerous, like juniper. Very good, juniper. Think I don't know things? <laughs> you, do, you know things. I thought Dave Silva would have known that, but you know that. Well, he flat backed right onto the grass. Yeah, the hero shot. I'm going to bring him right across the traffic. I'm bringing him back. Oh, thank God. Pinfalls count anywhere. That's over. Oh, God. He kicked out, man. You're talking about determination. You're talking about verve. He's, he's fighting from underneath. He's he's full of fire. Look at this fucker stopping traffic. David Tell. Uh, is David Tell still alive? Yes, but if, if he knew that I compared him to this guy, he probably wishes he wasn't. <laughs> you see that doink? We're standing right in the crowd. 